today in PE and IC Professional Ethics Indian Constitution of Chapter 6 we will discuss an important question which has been asked many times in the examination explain the structure of judiciary and the function of Supreme Court of India so what is the structure of judiciary and what are what is the main works of the supreme court in india so for this we will discuss the answer so in the structure of judiciary in india there are mainly three types of courts the first one is the supreme court the second one high court and the third one the subordinate courts as you can see in this diagram the constitution is the main basis for all the courts under that constitution first one is the supreme court the next one below supreme court is a high court and the finally last in the hierarchy is the subordinate courts okay this diagram you have to write for the answer okay don't forget this diagram very simple three courts are there under constitution supreme court high court and subordinate court okay we will go through the different types of courts one by one first coming to the supreme court okay what is a supreme court the supreme court is the highest law of law, law in india and it is the supreme court okay so whatever the decisions and discussions are done in the supreme court is final okay nobody can go for a higher appeal above supreme court okay supreme court whatever supreme court says is the final whatever the judgment supreme court gives is the final okay what is the main intention of supreme court is the main job of supreme court is to protect the fundamental rights of the citizens okay so it has to keep in mind that the fundamental rights right to living right to citizenship right to speech and all those simple fundamental rights of citizens are there that will be uphold with okay so next next what is the job of supreme court it will it has the powers to issue its nobody will appeal nobody will ask for the judgment but supreme court on its own can issue the writs and direction suppose if the government is not doing the job properly suppose if the if corona cases are in, uh, increasing very much the supreme court can intervene and take to task about the uh, job done by the government it can say it can say this job is not done properly what is the government doing the government has uh, the government is not working properly that way it can interfere okay so it can give direction that is meaning it, it can it can give the directions for various authorities as i said the, again the same point is repeated here the supreme court is the highest court and the verdict of the supreme court is final okay so who uh, who appoint the judges for the supreme court the supreme court judges are not appointed by any uh, prime minister minister or somebody some political parties they are appointed judges are appointed by none other than the president of india highest authority of india president of india will appoint the judges of the supreme court to preserve the transparency okay so that is about supreme court the next hierarchy is the high court we will come to the high court now okay so state wise we can say that the highest court in the state is the high court okay so there are presently there are 21 courts in the high courts that mean i mean high courts in our country okay there are about 21 courts in our country okay so there are maybe many state uh, many states but some of the courts are shared between two or two or two or more states also okay 
So each high court consists of a chief justice and all other subordinate judges also. Okay, the high high court consists of a chief justice and other judges. Okay, so who is capable or who is eligible to become the chief justice means the people who have served at least 10 years under Indian judiciary and should be advocate for at least 10 years they are eligible for becoming the high court judge or chief justice okay now coming to the third type of court that is the subordinate courts okay so subordinate courts which uh, include which function under the higher other two highest court under the supreme court and under the high court the subordinate courts will function okay so what are the subordinate courts again the subordinate subordinate courts can be classified into three types okay what are the three types first one is the district courts okay they operate at the district level okay second type of subordinate courts are magistrate courts they operate in the taluk level okay third type is the junior magistrate court okay junior magistrate court second one third one junior magistrate court easy to remember okay they will take care of city courts town courts etc okay so again basically the types of uh, subordinate courts are also divided into second type of classification they are area wise classification classification district magistrate junior magistrate type of the courts we can call it as two types are there one is the civil court okay so which are not so serious okay that kind of cases are taken here dispute matters of property between property division between brothers and uh, sister something like that money transaction illegality in between money transactions uh, disputes in money transactions disputes in agreements contractual agreements those case suppose a film actor has signed the call sheet but he has not prepared to take in money and not agree to uh, perform so such cases contractual agreement cases a building uh, um, real estate person is taken the money is not providing the uh, flats in time contractual agreement agreement uh, okay so that kinds of cases are taken by the civil court civil court the criminal courts are there these criminal courts will take care of crime matters such as murder dacoity robbery theft loots and uh, these serious kind of cases seriously uh, very uh, serious matters are taken by the criminal courts okay these are the subordinate courts finally there is a second part of the question what is the second part of the question means the functions of the supreme court what are the some uh, functions of the supreme court supreme court uh, functions in three types of jurid jurisdictions one is the original cases suppose anybody who wants to go directly to the supreme court and uh, offer his case he can go to the supreme court directly that is original case second one appellate case suppose any uh, is if a person is not satisfied the, by the court decision that is subordinate court decision or uh, say high court decision he can come to the supreme court to appeal against the lower courts review the lower court decision or change the lower court decision he can apply for that appeal for that third one is advisory okay suppose if the state government uh, is uh, feels confusing about a particular uh, article of the constitution then it can ask for the adv advice of supreme court and the supreme court issues the specific uh, opinions about the law okay so what are the actual functions of that um, means uh, like issuing writs and habeas corpus directions to safeguard the fundamental rights of the citizen it is the supreme court's work is to safeguard the fundamental rights of citizens okay so interpreting the provisions of the 
constitution so many times the constitution what is the sentence given the constitution there will that will create a lot of uh, confusion uh, different people will interpret in different way and ask for justice okay the supreme court's function is to provide the correct type, type of interpretation for a particular article in the law it is in the constitution okay so then uh, the other job is to resolve the disputes between the central and state uh, state state governments okay so the to resolve the differences between the central government central government will wish to collect uh, so much amount of gst the state is not willing to pay and uh, they can go to the court okay so then lastly it gives the advice to the president of india when it is sought suppose if it by uh, before taking any decision if the president of india is confused he wants to get some information what does law say about this before taking a decision he wants to know what does the constitution point of view of this particular uh, section then he can go to the supreme court judge and ask for the explanation okay so that uh, what is the right thing to do in view of the constitution the supreme court judges will advise the president but the president should ask for it okay whenever it is required so this much points you can write for 10 marks okay so read well this question again because this question is asked many times okay